Hello, Assalamu alaikum. Very nice to see so many people here today. So my topic today is on SDG3, associating it with patient safety and quality assurance. What is health? Okay. Hello. Health is a state of complete physical, mental, and social well-being. That's the and this is the goal three. We have to promote healthy lives and well-being. Do healthcare sector promote healthy life and well-being? What's the answer? G. What do you say? Do they? Let's have a look. Goal 3.8 is saying universal health coverage. And the key words are safe, quality, and effective. So well-being and quality assurance is a part of the sustainable goal three. We have that eye to see it and that lens to focus on it. Is healthcare a safe place? We may talk all fancy things, we do, but is healthcare a safe place? We are talking about the patient safety first. When people come to your hospital, to your organization, they face adverse events, they face errors. Is that health, good health? Are you promoting good health? Is that well-being? Let's see. Around one in every 10 patients are harmed in healthcare. More than 3 million deaths occur annually due to unsafe care. In low middle income countries, as many as 4 in 100 people die from unsafe care. And about, the good thing is 50% is preventable. This is the data Pakistan ka kya data hai? People are working, great work, JCI, ISO, every good thing. What's the data of Pakistan when we talk about patient safety and quality? Common sources of patient harm, surgical errors, healthcare associated infections, sepsis, diagnostic errors, patient fall, medication errors, venous thrombosis, pressure ulcers, these are all. They come to the hospital and they land up having these errors. Is there well-being? Is there good health? Is there good promotion? The answer is there for yourself. Teenager dies after drug error. Surgeon operated on the wrong side of the brain. Two women undergo wrong surgeries due to the seminal, uh, seminal names in. In ke baad mene dash dash laga di. Kahan ka waqya ye? Pakistan, Faisalabad. Two patients come in in a hospital named Kossar Parveen. Ek ka gallbladder operation on tha aur ek ka knee replacement. They all landed up hush posh. Jis ka gallbladder ka operation ho na tha, us ka knee ka ho gaya? Aur jis ka knee ka ho na tha, us ka gallbladder. So, Again, Pakistan, this is it. So, I'm just saying, what is the opposite of well-being? Ye sara. Ill-being, misery. Is good health and well-being only for the patient? No. Take care of the patient and everything else will follow. Before this, it's an important thing when we say health care and well-being. Ke liye kehte that is, any ideas? Only the patient's well-being, only the patient's health care. Take care, this is my own. Take care of the health care provider and everything will follow. Health care workers, a priority for patient safety. Health care workers, what do they 
In a study in Mayo Clinic Proceedings USA, healthcare workers are burning out in alarming numbers. More than three in five physicians reported at least manifestation of burnout in 2021 Mayo study. Another study from the National Academy of USA, 35 to, 40 to 54 nurses reported symptoms of burnout. Hum kya kare? Ek banda kitna kaam kar hai? What's the burden of a healthcare provider? What it is of Pakistan? What our, our work? What we are doing? We may talk. We have to do this. We have to do that. Do we have any statistics on healthcare workers' burden? So for a sustainable, safe healthcare system, this is the model. We need to have compassionate leadership, a just environment, learning environment, high trust, reporting, adaptive, informed, restorative. Mera concern restorative hai. Because healthcare workers need a restorative dimension. They need, we need to restore their health. The other word, buzz, buzzword was quality. Quality matters, but why? Every year between 5.7 to 8.7 million people are dying due to poor quality of health in the low and middle income countries. Lost of productivity. All this due to poor quality health care. In their pesi culture, 1.4 to 1.6 US dollars trillion per year. Death due to poor quality, South Asia is the highest. East Asia, South Asia. Lancet, London. So, role of quality in healthcare to achieve the third goal. We have to apply standards, testing, inspection, identifying, training, auditing, and monitoring system. So, hum ye kehte hain ki hum healthcare safe ho, to hum 3DG. I wanted to show one slide. Piche. Piche. Yes. What are the standards we are having? We are having the Sindh Healthcare Commission. We are having the Punjab Healthcare Commission. Do you have a national commission for the future? You have sustainable goals. So we need some standards. We need some root. We need some role models. Pirto, and that is the standards internationally. To improve quality in healthcare, these are the steps. We need to have data, analyze patient outcome, is pe kaam karna, set goals to commit, ongoing evaluation, improve access to care. Most important thing is me connect and collaborate with organizations. Monitor a framework of clinical quality registries. Is pe hame kaam karna chahiye. Everybody is working on quality in their own OASs. We don't know the patient safety and quality data as a national level. As it's sustainable care, so sustainable healthcare system may these are the important things. We have to focus on disease prevention and health promotion. See, quality and safety is one of the goals for sustainable health care. Healthy is not a way of living, and healthcare has a valued role to play. Thank you.